Lillian Govis in Buncombe County, North Carolina, where they are fielding call after call after call for help. Lillian, thank you. Um, are you able to get to everybody who's calling, number one? And number two, how much of a surprise was how bad the flooding is? We are not able to get to everyone who is calling. We are prioritizing those life-saving calls. Uh, we have a unique situation here in that we have lost interstate access around Asheville and Buncombe County. And so we aren't able to actually have uh, resources coming in to help us with these emergency endeavors like we would. Um, helicopters have not been able to fly into the area because of these high winds. And so we are prioritizing those life-saving calls, but we've had more than 3,500 911 calls since five o'clock this morning. And uh, we have- How many would it be on a normal day? Excuse me? How many would it be on a normal day? On a normal day, it would be uh, a tenth of that, if, wow. if, if that many. Um, and so that's just- It's got to break your heart to, be, to tell people that you're not able to come. Yes, we know there are people who are stranded um, on roofs currently, um, who we are trying to get to, but we are prioritizing those uh, calls where we know that if we do not respond, uh, we will see a fatality in that instance. And I'm thinking there's probably a lot of those um, as well. I can only imagine a number of the people who are out trying to rescue folks, their homes are flooded as well. Yeah, even um, here, there are a number of my coworkers and folks on my staff who I have not heard from and I do not know their status. Our cell towers are down. Um, that adds a further complication and we have more than 100,000 people without power as well. Obviously, we heard the reports and the warnings along Florida's Gulf Coast, especially in the Big Bend. We talked last night about sheriff, the sheriff warning people who didn't evacuate, write your name in Sharpie on your leg uh, so we can identify you. That was chilling. Did you all have any warning or idea of how bad this was going to get and how quickly it was going to get bad? We did, uh, and we, we had multiple press conferences uh, begging our uh, folks who live in low-lying areas to relocate, self-evacuate um, to uh, higher areas. We have multiple rivers that come through. This is a beautiful place. A lot of people come here to come to yep. visit and vacation. Um, and so we have a lot of low-lying areas around those rivers and historic flooding. This flooding actually is more uh, significant than the last major flood of 1916. Wow. Um, so this is... We can't put more, into more words than, how catastrophic more than 100 years. it is for our community. Boy, a city cut off, people on roofs. I'm just thinking it's it's getting dark. Um, it's going to get chilly. People are cold, uh, sitting on roofs, waiting for help and waiting for sunrise. Lillian, there's a lot of people counting on you. Thank you for joining us. Yep. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.